Hey everybody, welcome to this two minute techie tip um, designed to build our capacity for creating, communicating, collaborating, and thinking critically. Um, we also want to enhance our skills to be um, digital leaders. So um, this cast is going to just be about sharing files, um, how to simply share files with students or colleagues and force a copy. So I have this article and it could be any kind of a document. It could also be a PDF uh, Word document. So keep in mind that really almost any kind of a a uh, document would work that I get from the internet. Make sure that if you haven't viewed the um, how to save a web page as a PDF, I can create PDFs from interesting articles that I read. So really you're, you're limited by very few options. So anyway, I have this um, URL. Every document in our drive has an address. And I know I can share um, with my students. I can create groups. I can um, uh, easily just pick a couple of either individual email addresses or entire classes or however. That's um, the older way, but there's an easier way. Um, all you have to notice is that every document, just about every document in your drive is going to end with edit. Um, and that's just a code that Google gives that to allow for sharing. So if I change the word edit to copy, this will let me share uh, force a copy of this document. So I just now copy this URL. I can include this in a link in a document. So actually if I were going to send this out, um, click here and I could include that um, in the document to get your own copy. Um, or click here. This is the fancy way. Um, I'm going to highlight the word here and then go up to my link tool and I get the little apply button. Can you see this? There you go. So I'm going to click that and say um, uh, apply and if you noticed when I get that it has the word copy at the end so I know I'm all set so let's just test it I could either click on on this link click on this link or put this whole link into a new window let's just see what happens and when I'm in a Google document I have to select it and then come down here but let's just watch what happens so because I have the word copy on the end um, this forces a copy so students or colleagues would you like to make a copy of this and I make a copy and it is renamed for me copy of this I would have students immediately put initials or something to make that uh, a unique document in their drive. But that's it. Just take this URL, change to copy, and you're set to go. It's infinitely easier than sharing any other way that we have. So there you go. Uh, use it and uh, continue to grow as an educator. Thanks for listening.